had a lot more to do with her slipping than the foul. But Inbound to Tapio, left block, and finally the Rams are on the board. Uh, Danielle Burns and Mary Wachuku into the ball game. Here's Rooney driving baseline to the rack and lays it home for two with the right hand for the left side. A minute to play and trailing by seven. Rooney through the lane, floats it up, plus one. Rooney took a hard through the middle of the floor, driving all the way to the cup and rolls it home off the glass for two. It's Corning looking inside, deflected. Clark gets it up with the right hand, banks it home for two. Lead down to. Middle of the floor, Tapio has a lane to the rack, swoops it home for two off the glass. Timeout, LaSalle. Clark, left block, going to work. Spins around and banks it home, plus one. Sam Clark, a chance. Here on senior day, trying to win it for Fordham. First one up, and she gets it in off the front rim. We are all tied at 42 with 12.6 remaining. This one for the lead. There's a thousand people in this gym and only one is talking. Aaron Rooney taking her sweet time. Transferred from Monmouth for moments just like this. Second free throw on the way. Good. 43-42. Inbounds it near side. 4.8 remaining. Fans on their feet. Alston gets it into Cropper. Crosses over. Driving to the hole. Floats it up. No good. And that's it. The Rams survive on Senior Day and win it by one. 43-42 in dramatic fashion. Here with Fordham head coach Stephanie Gately after her team's miraculous comeback win against the Sal on Senior Day. Coach, can you take me through the last two minutes of that game? Uh, prayer. Thank God we're at Jesuit University. Lots of prayer. Grabbing onto my dad. You know, to be honest, at the timeouts, we spent a lot of time since the Richmond game working on special situations. So, we just the most important thing was to keep the kids calm, let them know and that we believe we could win the game, and just take one possession at a time. You got Aaron Rooney on the line for two shots to potentially put you up to win the game. Is there anyone in the world you'd rather have in that situation? No, because Aaron wants it. You know, Aaron, same with Emily. Aaron and Emily, they'd be two of the first kids I'd pick just because they're, they're you know, clutch kids in those situations. Talking about Emily, her performance, she had 13 rebounds, 12 points. 13 rebounds is a career high. Her second career double-double, her second straight. Can you talk about her performance over the past two games? You know what, the thing I said to the team in the locker room after the game is that with Emily, you feel her energy. And I, and I challenged the kids that that's what we got to feel from everybody. Like, you could tell Emily was going to refuse to lose that game. And you felt it in the timeouts with her. And I gave her that call on quick. I said, Emily, you want it? She goes, I want it. So, you know, we went right to her and the kids were confident in her and she's responded well. The penultimate home game for four players here. What can you say about that group of four, Aaron, Abigail, Bree, and Mary? You know, it's, it's just it's a unique group because they're all so different in so many ways. I mean, Bree I've only had for two years, Mary I've only had for one year, and then obviously Aaron I've, I've been with for five, and Abigail for three. And it's just all of them bring something so unique, and, and every, every one of them brings something special. All right, seventh 21 team in school history. Congratulations, Coach. And i got to give a shout-out to my dad since it was his game. I was holding on to him. Thanks for the ending.